Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so today we have 26 days left in North Carolina. Uh, so you guys know we're moving to Texas. Um, so to what I'm doing today is trying to figure it out if it's gonna be cheaper for me to buy everything brand new over there, like desk and table and uh, uh, couch and everything, or to rent a truck and with a trailer and take my car and the truck and everything that I own here in this place. So I've been doing the math. So if I rent a truck from here to Houston, oh, this is gonna cost me about um, thirteen hundred bucks. Of course, we gotta add to that taxes, and we have to add um, the deposit or whatever the deposit fee, the security deposit fee or whatever that says in the page. Uh, and the page says it's gonna be this plus the taxes and security deposit. So roughly like fifteen hundred plus the gas. So. So okay, we gotta count the gas anyways, right? Uh, so the gas for this truck, I'll say that it's gonna be like about 300 bucks. So in total, like $1,800 renting the truck, the trailer, and the gas, and well, whatever. And 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 this is leaving the truck in Houston, Texas, just returning the truck over there. The second option that we have is to sell everything that we have and just to live with nothing. Technically, any everything, just pack the car up and leave and just buy everything brand new. So for me to do that and to see if I can buy everything brand new and, it's, and how much it's gonna be, I'm gonna go down to Kia and I'm gonna shop around and I'm gonna see how much it'll be if I buy everything brand new. If everything is less than 1800, then I'll definitely go and buy everything brand new. If everything is gonna be more than 1800, then I'll rent the truck and I'll take my stuff. So let's go down to Ikea and let's see what the prices looks like and then what can we buy. And I think also if we buy everything brand new, it's gonna be like more fun because we're gonna be able to like, basically, yeah, just redo everything, you know? Just we're gonna have to buy everything, so um, yeah, pack. All right, so we took a shower, and before we leave, we're gonna do a list of the things that we need, so when we at the store, we already know what we're looking for, okay? So, check it out. guys so we're here at Ikea an hour later and the question is can we furnish our house with $1,800 or less okay so this is the first bed that we found the base by itself is 250 the mattress is 400 so it'll be like 650 right there 509 for this kind of bed Nice table for 179. All right, so this is more our, pri our, our price range, 299 for this little table. It goes under the couch. That's nice. I like that. 747 for this. Like a side table. Seventy dollars for this TV stand. This couch right here, three forty nine. Nine hundred bucks. Two ninety nine. Now we're talking. Yeah, buddy. This is good. Two ninety nine. You can't beat that. Seventy nine bucks for this chair. I like this chair. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but you know, we gotta we gotta stick to the budget. Eighty nine bucks for this desk. It's just normal, like nothing under nothing. Just a desk. 
229 for this one which is kind of like the one I have now this team looks nice I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this team but I like this team right here 259 I like this color that's kind of like the size of my TV so it kind of like fits perfect we need this in our house definitely that this can possibly be a new bed I'm not sure but I like this one $70 for this 99 bucks this is what we need For this one, look, 149. And you get all this. That's the size of my TV, so that's pretty good. 99.99 for this desk. $50 for the chair. $230. If you want this office chair. Or $70 if you want this office chair. I think this one is better for twenty dollars more, seventy bucks. The other one was fifty. I think we're taking this. One. We need a dinner table, but it's not our top priority. So, two fifty for chairs like that, and each chair is fifty bucks. All right, guys. So we already found pretty much everything that we needed, and we already got the prices in mind. I remember this is just a walk around and like. I want to make sure that we have like budget to buy everything and that's the main reason we're here so um, the thing we're gonna do now is gonna go back to the car 90 degrees outside Mi Pueblo Mexican Grill Hey, soy el Luquero de Charlo Nice Hey, there's always cool people in Charlo for sure Let's hope this food is good now because it's my first time here Yeah, it's gonna be good It's gonna be good? Yeah You heard it from the man now Yeah <laughs> Yeah, boom. Torta cubana. All right, guys. So I'm back home from IKEA, from the lunch, and everything. Um, so we're doing right here. What I'm doing right here is kind of doing the numbers on how much everything would be if I were, were to buy everything. And after a long time doing math, which who likes math anyways? Um, let me see. This is what we came up with. If we buy the bed, the bed itself is $600, the two side tables are $100, uh, the desk is about 100 bucks if you get like the cheaper one, uh, you can even get it a little cheaper than that, but this is all like literally like uh, we gotta like make numbers and see how much everything would be. Um, anyways, the desk 100 bucks, the, the chair 50 bucks, the couch $400 because we need a good couch, the coffee table about 100 bucks, the dinner table with the chairs 350 bucks, the TV stand 100 bucks, and the rug $80. So all of this together sums up to about $2,000, um, which the question was, can you uh, furnish your house with $1,800 or less in Ikea? And the question is, yes, kinda, uh, because $1,800 gives you like most of the stuff, but at the same time, like if you're gonna buy the, the, the table with the chairs, each chair is sold separately, things like that. Um, so yeah, you can do it, definitely. I think that's the easiest way because I can go over there to Ikea, order online, and they bring everything um, to my house, so I don't really have to do much over that, just assemble the stuff. So yeah, there you go guys, there you have it. Um, can you can you furnish a house, an apartment, with like 1800 bucks to 2000, 2000 to 1800 bucks? Yes, you can, and um, I will be doing it probably in about three weeks from now. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'm gonna be unboxing all the things that I buy, and I'm gonna show you guys how everything is gonna be. So stay tuned, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for some more awesome content. And um, yeah, your boy Pablo is out. Thank you for watching, pow.